A Minnesota hockey player who was paralyzed during a game last winter is sharing his story. Matt Olson got hurt after he slammed into the boards during a junior league game in Chicago. He lost feeling from the chest down. WCCO's Kate Raddatz sat down with Matt to talk about his road to recovery and adjusting to a new kind of normal. Everything would just felt so tingly inside. And Matt Olson remembers falling onto the ice on February 21st and trying to get up. Yeah, the first thing I tried to do was trying to move, and I knew right away I couldn't move. In an instant, the 20 year old was paralyzed from the chest down. After immediate surgery at a Chicago hospital, he couldn't speak for seven weeks. His family stayed by his side. It's like your worst nightmare. I wanted to comfort him and let him know that we were there. Since then, he stayed at the Mayo Clinic and now the Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute in Golden Valley. For a star athlete at Totino Grace and then the Chicago Cougars, a junior league team, Matt's day-to-day -day tasks take every ounce of his strength. You get tired, especially at the end of the days where uh, so heavy on therapies, you have you get about like three hours of therapy every day, so that it can really wipe you out. He's received support from all over the world, including from the Minnesota Wild, Chicago Blackhawks, and Jack Jablonski, a Benilde St. Margaret hockey player paralyzed during a game in 2011. A true testament how uh, people can really rally around someone or family to help each other out. Matt says there are good and bad days to life in a wheelchair. To turn either way, I just lean on one of the side pads. But ask him about his dreams, like going to college. That answer is easy. It's not going to limit me on things that I want to do. To watch him and see how hard he works every day and how positive he is and how much um, he gives us strength and inspiration. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. Matt has at least four more weeks at the rehab center until he'll be able to go home. His family's building a new house in Isanti to accommodate his needs. If you'd like to donate to help with Matt's ongoing medical bills, we have information about that at wcco.com links.